Now, let us talk about money stock in India. What is considered as money stock? The amount of currency that is in circulation, the amount of money that the bank has. Now, how do you, what do you call that money and how RBI has classified them? In 1979, RBI classified money stock in four categories, M1, M2, M3, and M4. From your study point of view, M1 and M3 are the most important. What does M1 mean? Now stock, what do you mean by the term stock? Stock means together. What is the money, the total money that is there in the economy? We'll talk about that. So M1 is currency that the public has with themselves along with the demand deposits. Now we know what are banks for. Banks are for keeping our deposits. Whatever money is extra we have, we put it in banks, our savings. Now these deposits are of two kinds. One is demand deposit. As the word suggests, demand deposit is whenever we demand, the bank gives it to us. So it is demand deposit like a savings bank account. Whenever we want, we can go and take the money with whenever we need it. All the other kinds of deposits are called as term or time deposit, which are there for a fixed period of time. And it is for a fixed period of time, it is called as a fixed deposit. And similarly, there are other kinds of deposits that are called as term deposit. Now, when we talk about only currency with the public plus demand deposit, that is the money that we can get any moment that we want, it is called as narrow money or M1. We call that as M1, which means currency with the public plus demand deposits. This is narrow money. Now, when in this narrow money, you add time deposit. Along with demand deposit, you add time deposit to it. Then it becomes broad money. So what is the difference between narrow money and broad money? The difference is of time deposit. When we consider time deposit as well, our narrow money becomes broad money. So narrow money is currency that we have plus the demand deposit. That is the money that we can use instantly whenever we require. That is the narrow money. And when in that money, we add the term deposit as well, the time deposit that will mature in a fixed period of time, it becomes broad money. Okay. Now after M1, there is M2. If in narrow money you add post office, now you all know that in post office also people keep some deposits. If in M1 we add post office saving deposit, it becomes M2. Then again M3 was M1 plus time deposit that we have already done. And M4 is M3 plus total post office deposit, excluding national savings certificate. We do not include NSCs in them. And then in broad money, you add the total post office deposits that are there, it becomes M4. From an economic point of view also, M1 and M3 are the most important. M1 is narrow money, which means currency plus demand deposits. And M3 means M1 plus time deposit, which is the broad money. Please remember that. Next, in 1998, new money aggregates were introduced by RBI. They were NM1, NM2 and NM3. Again, NM1 like M1 is narrow money. It means currency with the people plus the demand deposits that they have plus other deposits with the RBI. The cash reserves that the commercial banks keep with RBI that are also included. So currency plus demand deposits plus other deposit with RBI is NM1. When in NM1 you add time liabilities and certificates of deposits that are issued by banks plus term deposits that mature within a year, that is less than an year. Term deposits that mature in within less than an year, when they are included in NM1, it becomes NM2. NM3 is NM2 plus term deposits with bank with maturity over one year. Now we know NM2 is shorter and NM3 is broader in the sense that when it is in 
includes those certificates that will mature after a period of one year, it becomes NM3. And call term borrowings of the banking system are also included. Call borrowings means whenever they want, they can keep uh, ask for their money. That is, um, that is what we mean by the term call. Call is when you can call. Whenever you want, you can get your money back. When we include that in NM2, along with term deposits, with maturity of over one year, it becomes NM3. Recent aggregates that have been that the RBI follows is NM1, NM2 and NM3.